The main thing to be thinking about and watching for once the grain is put into the bin is uh, that the insects can be developing. Uh, there's a couple of tools that the uh, grain industry has that, that, that's very useful. Uh, one of them is the uh, grain probes or sometimes called grain triers that you can just insert down into the grain, uh, open them up, the grain flows in from, from depths further than just the top surface. Uh, you pull those out, dump them into a, a, a strainer, um, shake it around and, this, and, the, and the insects fall out through the screens down into a pan and then the grain stays up above and then you can look and see, see what you've got. We like to say try to sample at least five places and that would be the easy way to think about that is just to uh, go around the edges about one foot in from the edge and do north, south, east and west directions and one in the center. Uh, we think two every couple of weeks go in and, and, and look for insects whether you're doing it with this grain probe that we talked about or these little pitfall traps. These little pitfall traps um, have a long name. Uh, they're made by a company named Tresse, T-R-E-C-E they can be ordered from that company and what they are they're basically just a long plastic tube with holes cut in them and uh, the insects if you stick that down into the grain the insects are crawling through the grain and they fall through one of these holes and all of a sudden they just fall down through down to the bottom where there's a little funnel that catches them and keeps them from crawling back out well what you do is you put these out you know five per bin and uh, what you'd leave these traps in for a few days and then come back and see what you've caught in the in the little funnel. There are two uh, insects in particular that everybody needs to worry about that are called um, the grain weevils and the lesser grain borer. So we, we are more concerned about those two um, than we are about the other ones. Everyone needs to be concerned about those because they can just um, really ruin intact grain. And these are the ones that because they can take a, an intact kernel of grain and because they're feeding directly on it, sort of turn that into um, grain dust and flour within just, you know, a period of, of a month. Going into the grain can be a dangerous business. You always want to go into that grain bin with someone else outside knowing that you're in there. You want to have some kind of a safety harness uh, so that uh, you can be pulled out if you unfortunately happen to sink in.